Larry Kalikoff is joining us now. He's a professor of economics at Boston University, has served as a consultant to the U.S. Office of Management and Budget, the IMF, the World Bank, and a number of major U.S. corporations. Professor, so glad you're joining us this morning. You have some pretty inflammatory language, which I guess is not completely uh, out of habit for you, but uh, talking about fiscal child abuse is essentially what's going on here in that the young of today are going to pay, well, for all of us. What's the best solution here? Well, I think uh, if we're going to take so many resources from the young, we're taking 15% of their salary through the employer and employee FICA tax, and then we're giving them a retirement system they can't remotely understand. It has 2,728 rules in its handbook. There's thousands of rules in its operating manual system to explain those rules. You can't remotely figure this thing out. It's completely bizarre, Byzantine. And then you're also cutting their benefits. The, the Fiscal Commission is about to, uh, I'm sure, recommend a three-year increase in the retirement age, which really translates into a 20% benefit cut for younger people. So let's, if we're going to give them, take so much and give them so little, let's actually give them a system they understand and that works. And that's what I'm proposing in the, in the column. Larry, how much of this system or the re-architecture of this system is just based on how old it is and how much it needs to change given the mortality rates that were implied in the original entitlement programs and where we could go from here? Well, a lot of the problems that we're seeing today, we have a 26% underfunding problem. The system is essentially bankrupt uh, just by itself. It can't cover its bills. And uh, this could have been anticipated by the Greenspan Commission back in 1983. I'm sure they did look ahead and understand that if they just fixed the problem for 75 years, by this time, we would be in, a, in even worse shape than we were back then. And sure enough, here it came along. They understood what the demographics were and uh, things are in worse shape today so because they always do. Yeah. No, it's just annoying to cut you off, but it seems like you're saying that clearly we cannot just leave things hold steady as was done in the past. That's not a solution this time around either. Right. We really need to fix this thing once and for all. And the way to do it is freeze it in place and pay off what you owe to the current workers and the current retirees as they retire, but then put into place a new system that actually is understandable and it works and it is fully funded and can cover its costs and is efficient and equitable and progressive. Why not have a modern social security system? Why do we have to stick with forever a social security system that nobody understands, that hands out money to people that don't deserve it, left, right, and center, if you really understand the details of the system, and that is highly inefficient because nobody can figure out what they're getting back. You're putting 15% of your salary and you cannot remotely figure out what you're getting back without uh, highly detailed uh, software. So how long is this going to take to implement? This is a gargantuan task, which you're explaining here, whether it's you know, reevaluating the trustee accounting or how the OMB calculates deficits and exposures to these issues. How long do you think this is going to take? Well, you know, if you give me an afternoon and uh, let me be present for the day, I'll fix everything in the afternoon. It's not, this stuff is very easy to do. You just freeze the existing system in place. You put people into personal account where there's matching contributions by the government to make it progressive. You divide it between spouses, the contribution. You put it all into an index fund so Wall Street doesn't make any money. It's invested in a fully diversified global index fund. Okay. Everybody gets the same rate of return. And then there's annuitization at the end of the day. It's very Larry. simple.